Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm filming my everyday makeup look for you. It's a mix between high-end and low-end products, so some are really expensive, some are affordable, but if you're interested in seeing how I do my makeup every day and how I get this going on right here, please keep watching. Okay, so here I'm starting with my NYX brow pencil in taupe. I really like that it's double sided with a spoolie so I can brush my hair like this before I start. And as you can see I'm just filling them in sparsely with small strokes, kind of trying to make them look natural. Next I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel to control my crazy eyebrow hairs and lock them in place all day. Then I took my NYX HD concealer and my MAC 212 brush kind of to carve out my eyebrows just to make them look like I just got them waxed. Nothing crazy. To prime my eyes I used Lorac's behind the scene eye primer. This stuff works so good. And I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and using Fawn in my crease with my MAC 224 sweeping that back and forth. To darken it up a little bit I took my Lorac Pro palette with my MAC 217 blending the color taupe right into my crease. Then I took my mini MAC pigment in Jardin Aries. I could be saying it wrong, but it's a really pretty nude color. And I just used my finger to apply that on the lid. Then I took my mascara and just kind of darkened my lashes a little bit just to get them ready for the fake eyelashes I'm wearing. I'm using my Red Cherry Lashes in DW in my Dark Tone Duo Glue. And just throwing those bad boys on. For foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 102 with my Morphe MB39 brush, and I'm just going to buff that all over my skin. Just a really light layer. I use about the size of a pea for the foundation. Then to highlight, I'm using the same NYX concealer in a damp beauty blender just to blend it all out. I always highlight the under eyes and the center of my face. It's really important to blend it all out really good so you don't look crazy. To avoid any creasing, I'm taking the shade Banana from my contour kit and setting my under eyes with it with my Real Techniques contour brush. For the rest of my face, I'm using my BH Cosmetics Powder Foundation. I'm actually using their lightest shade in this, number 205, because I'm really pale right now, but I really love how smooth and soft this powder is. It really holds my foundation in place all day long. Then I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Concealer Crayon to line the inner line of my eyes, the waterline, to really open and brighten my eyes since I've had a really long couple of days. And I'm taking my CoverGirl Mascara for my bottom lashes. To warm up my face, I'm using my NYX Bronzer in Medium with my Flawless Face Brush from Bare Essentials. I'm just putting that on my cheeks and my forehead just to kind of warm up my face so I don't look so pale. To deepen my cheeks and create kind of a natural contour, I'm using my NARS Eda brush and my Fawn from my contour kit again. For blush, I'm using Well Dressed by MAC and applying it with a MAC 168 brush. Just on the apples of the cheeks to give my face a little color. For highlight, I took my Stila Liquid Luminizer in Kitten and applied that with my Beauty Blender on the tops of my cheekbones. And on top of that, I went in with Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill, of course, of course, on a Real Technique setting brush. This is my favorite highlighter ever. To lock everything into place, I use my Fix Plus. And this really helps set my powder to look more than skin rather than makeup. It's like my favorite part of my makeup. For lips, I'm taking my MAC liner and subculture and overdrew them, of course. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my favorite lipstick by MAC in the nudes and it's called Honey Love. It's honestly the perfect nude for fair skin. And to top off my lips, I'm putting it in, right in the center, uh, just Max Lip Gloss in Viva Glam 5. 
So that's it. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at girlyassblog. Bye.